hello guys good morning so today we will be discussing lds lds means lightning data services so which is very useful to create the records or update the records using without using the code means you don't need to call the apex code to create the records or you don't need to perform dml operations to perform uh, create edit delete operations on this one okay for those we have uh, uh, lds so lds we have different forms here so our components these are lightning record forms we used to say then i'll explain you what is lightning data services we have So if you want to view the record, you have one form. If you give the record ID, it will be simply opened. Okay. And if you give, if you want to edit or uh, create the records, we have a form called a record form. Okay. For viewing, we have record view form. For uh, editing, we have record edit form. Okay. So I'll explain one by one. See this lightning record form. This is one lightning data service uh, component which is already provided by the Salesforce or let's say out our components. So these are our components simply what we can do see how to create the lightning components using this record forms or how can we create the records using this our components. Let me create one simple record one component that's called lightning component what is the first one record form record form i'm giving cm record form component okay for this i'm just implementing one interface called lightning record page means this should be available on the record page okay so here lightning page lightning tab it's not required simply only one interface i have implemented which is available for record home page and has record id force has record id means so this has record id interface what it does is Whenever you drag and drop this lightning component on any of the lightning app page or lightning record page, then automatically that record ID will be given to this component using record ID attribute. Okay. So here, what I'm trying to do is let's use this lightning record form. So this lightning record form can use see this syntax or let's say the details of the lightning record form you can see the syntax and what are the different attributes you have you don't need to worry about anything lightning column record okay this is the tag for this one for which object you are going to add this lightning page let's say for it if you want to edit or create some object or let's say account id or i mean account record or contact record whatever it is your let's say object api name you have to pass object <coughs> API name so that's why i was i wanted to show you this specification see here in the lightning component library you have lightning record form this lightning record form object api is, name is important okay and then modes which modes edit mode or view mode or read only mode if you give read only so that cannot uh, the record cannot be edited using this lightning record form mode of uh, layout type is full or compact okay so this See here specifications if you go to the specifications you can understand everything 
class SLDS class if you want to use you can use this columns uh, how many columns you want to display see here I'm going to give first one columns equals to two or let's say give four okay what is a column means see here let's go to one of the account record So you know that right uh, base layouts you can have two columns right the same way you can make any number of columns using the record form see here when you go to the details this is one column and this is one column right so like this how many columns you want to display by default when you use the record form that's called this one so what we are going to do with the uh, this record form so if you add that record form at any place here the related list or something so let's say if i want to add here under the partners i can add that component instead of editing the account record here what you can do is you can directly add uh, edit from here that's just a small example on this one we'll create this one and the next specification density is not required fields are optional so if you want to add some fields list of fields to be displayed you can add that else you can ignore and layout type so compact or full let me give as layout as compact full means however you uh, see the layout when you are creating the record this, that is called as full layout then mode you don't need to give this one object api name is important object api name equals to so as we are talking about account we are going to give a account okay and after that on error on load on submit on success recorded this record id is a bit important if you want to give this for editing v dot record id okay so when you implement this interface force colon has record id and if you say v dot record id then automatically it reads the record id so if you add that component here as there is the account page this record id will be automatically passed to this lightning component and that will be in the attribute called as v dot record id the record id attribute will be there very simple form okay and then what else we have okay so once the uh, record is submitted and once the record is saved if you want to show some message okay on success equals to you can use something like v dot handle success handle success what I'm going to do is on controller I'm going to add this JavaScript function here handle success so here you can use notification library to show the some message like okay, give me this. lightning notifications find of notification turn it show toast okay. here you have to pass the things like variant
minha sede. Successfully saved. mode so yesterday we have already discussed this sticky mode I'm giving means until you click on this one with the title success This is success, right? So variant is success or warning, or it may be the fail or info. Okay, so successfully saved. So this component we have created. What this component will do? So this component, when you use the lightning record form, then it opens the layout for editing or creating the record as we are giving the record id it will be for editing and for creating also you can use this one if you don't give record id then that will be for uh, new record creation okay so let's go ahead and check this one and i'm going to add this lightning component here till now you have uh, created some components and then you have created some tabs here and tested that from here lws will be uh, so this LDS lightning um, data service components can be used along with these record forms okay so now let's go ahead and use <coughs> I'm going to do setup then edit page you don't need to go to any setup or somewhere just edit page when you edit the page this is called as app builder okay there is a certification also app builder certification uh, you can do that certification as well so here where I want to display so after the related list at end of the related list I just need to display that lightning component so here you can search the some record edit record form component right so here go ahead and drag and drop that see this where it is under the partners you have this lightning component okay save this one this is called see here this is flexi page which will be displayed on the lightning okay this is already there you have to use app default come back Let's go ahead and use fields as well. We'll see. Name equals to fields. Right equals to list default equals to
fields as well let's go and use fields in the fields. so let's give the columns as two So this component we wanted to add the type of uh, layout so the layout type we were giving the compact so it was not here working we are given fields okay so let's go ahead and save this and come back simply we have all the fields here by default only one column will be displayed if you want to add another column you can give layer columns or two okay so for now here these are all available and if you want to update any records you can give it and save the record okay so successfully saved this is how we have to use lightning data services form called record form okay record form then if you don't give the record id let's say by default it will be in the edit mode that means you can directly create the new record means here you don't need to create new don't need to click on new button and then you just use test LDS one okay another fields are not required you can save the record successfully saved and again it will be open here so you want to open it, it will be open means if you don't give the record id the rec new record will be created if you give this record id here then it will be for editing okay so i hope you guys understand this one okay any doubts on this one notification library or a record form this one Okay, issues that will be fine. Now, let's see another lightning data service called record view form. So, using this uh, lightning colon record form, all fields are displayed here. See this? All fields are displayed. So, if you refresh as we have given the record ID, okay, so it will be opened. But the all the fields, the how many fields we have on the account, all fields will be opened here. See this? Everything is here. Right? So 
so I don't need all of them I need only some few fields and this layout then if you want to display some fields only then what you can do is you can go for lightning colon record view form let's go ahead and create one creation so lightning page lightning record page okay tab is not required if you want to create tab also you can create that use this Record view CM. Okay, so lightning record page and lightning page. Here I'm giving lightning tab also. If you want to give, you can give. Okay, so here what are the important components? Or let's say how to do this one loading a record how to use lightning record view form okay here record form record view form the syntax is same lightning colon record form if you give the record id and object ap name then that will be open so let's first try with this one then we'll see so using uh, output field we have a field called output field tag is there so let's just lightning colon record view form okay here two things are required record id equals to something you have to give object api name equals to you have to give something Okay. inside this so as we have already discussed if you want to have some less number of records to be displayed then you can go for this record view mean less number of fields if you want to display okay so div class equals to ldes grid so you don't need to worry about this you can go for uh, sldes and get the those things okay so here let me use same format lightning output field so there is no format here okay so let's say lightning output field okay name equals to what is the name let's say name of the okay so here if you give like this you don't need this okay type form and let's say industry symbol okay then record id is important and then object i object name is required object name i'm giving object ap name is account and id what do you have to do you have to give this id i'm giving by default now okay this is the record view form so now let's go ahead and create a small tab for this lightning component you can create anything but here so as or else we'll simply add here only remove the previous component and we add this one Let's go ahead and create a tab. Tabs. So 
lightning component stamp right so here record view form cmp right account view i'm giving the name like account view for the tab and let me save this tab and add it to the application Once this is done, come back, add this tab to here. Add more items, account view. So here, let's go and access that tab. Report ID, view form, lightning output field. Oh, sorry have to give field name, not name. So here, account name is displayed, then account type. There is no values for these things, so it is displaying only this field so the design you have to take it as another option okay so here instead of that if i want to display on the same account page what you can do is see here you are not uh, writing any code to fetch the data from apex or let's say for using the apex and then you are not displaying on the UI. Very, very simple just you are using one tag and pausing the content. So here, instead of this, if you give v dot record id, okay, then this can be uh, added at any lightning page. Record view form. Okay, let me delete this and then add this. This is how it is placed. Back. So that say when you give the V dot record ID as the record ID, then wherever you have added this lightning component on the account page, that record details will be displayed here. Okay. So here you can't edit or you can't add anywhere, you can't modify the record because this is a record view form. So here if you observe that, you are not displaying all the fields. Whatever the fields you want to display, those fields only can be displayed using record view form. Okay. So any questions on this guys? So record view form only read only, sir. Yes, or record view way. form. So record view, view form is only for read. Just displaying some values. That's it. So whatever thing you want to display on the UI, that can be used using this one. Other than that, nothing. But record form is for editing and displaying as well on the record page. Okay. So if you pause the simply from record ID, then that will be shown and it will be available for editing also. Okay. So here the same way, uh, however, you have used on success, the same way what you can do is you can have different uh, different functions like on success what has to be done on error on load and a lot of other things on submit so when you cancel it what should happen on error what should happen so to handle those kind of actions or events on cancel error load submit success so 
this uh, five kind of actions it can be happen for each and everything you can have one javascript function to display the proper messages okay so that is lts record form and record view form any questions on this guys sir in case of child record also we can uh, display the parent records parent details no no that cannot be done here that will i'll explain that that has to be customized okay okay i'll explain that later okay so if you guys are clear i'll go for record edit form on this okay so record form will give all the fields record view form is only for view and the two specific fields whatever you have mentioned record edit form is for editing the record that too with specific fields let's say uh, if you use the record form it will be available for all fields will be available but if you use the record form the record edit form then you have to mention which fields has to be displayed for that what you need to do is input field lightning input field okay so i'll explain this let's let's disconnect and join on again we'd love that it will be gone